Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. If your refrigerator's ice or water dispenser is not working, here are the top seven most probable causes. The switch actuated by the dispenser lever could be faulty. Depending on the model, you may be able to use a multimeter to test the switch for continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the switch. If the switch tests negative for continuity, it will need to be replaced. If all of the dispenser functions are disrupted, then the control board itself may be defective. While the board cannot be easily tested, you can inspect it for signs of burning or a shorted out component. The door switch disables the ice and water dispenser when the refrigerator door is open. A malfunctioning door switch may prevent the dispenser from operating even when the door is closed. As with the dispenser switch, you can use a multimeter to test the door switch for continuity to determine if the switch has failed electrically. The refrigerator's water inlet valve opens to allow water to travel to the water dispenser and into the ice maker. The inlet valve can fail both mechanically and electrically. A mechanical failure could be caused by the buildup of mineral deposits, preventing the valve from opening. If this happens, you'll need to replace the valve. Trying to clean out an old valve is not recommended due to the risk of part failure after repair. To determine if the inlet valve has failed electrically, use a multimeter to test the valve solenoid coils for continuity. If one or more of the coils test negative for continuity, the inlet valve will need to be replaced. To operate properly, the water inlet valve requires at least 20 pounds of water pressure per square inch. To help determine this, shut off the water supply, disconnect the supply line from the inlet valve, and hold the line over a bucket. Turn the water supply back on and observe whether or not there is a strong flow of water jetting out of the line. A weak flow indicates a problem with the water line or the water supply valve. A frozen water supply tube leading to the ice maker tray or the water dispenser can also impede dispenser functions. You can thaw the supply tube by heating it with a hair dryer, but be aware that a frozen supply tube is usually caused by insufficient water pressure or a defective inlet valve. Although it's not a common problem, a defective main control board could result in the ice or water dispenser not working. As with the dispenser board, you can inspect the main board for signs of burning or a shorted out component and replace it with a new one, provided all of the other dispenser components are working properly. For additional troubleshooting information, enter your appliance's full model number in our website's Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.